Are you looking for a shoreside location that offers free beaches, boating, fishing, and a vacation atmosphere? Need something you can afford on a fixed income? Would you like to explore some manufactured home communities that just might offer a solution? Stay tuned. In this video, I will introduce you to the community of Jensen Beach. Included is one of my rare personal recommendations for a land lease manufactured home resort. Resident owned communities here offer affordable living on almost any budget. I will tell you how to get more information at the end of the video. Hello, I'm Russ Watson and I created Florida Manufactured Home Living to enrich the lives of manufactured homeowners and educate the public on its benefits. Let's dig in. Jensen Beach is a census designated place in Martin County, Florida. It is midway between Fort Pierce and West Palm Beach and is considered part of the St. Lucie County area. There are two large neighborhoods zoned for manufactured housing. Here you can own your own lot and pretty much do as you please. Keep in mind though, so can your neighbors. There are two land lease parks, Pine Lake Village and Ocean Breeze. Two more are currently empty, but one of these is under construction and will return as a manufactured home resort. There are four resident owned communities. Not far away are 10 beautiful beaches with public access. We will cover the beaches more in just a bit. Welcome to Jensen Beach. This arch marks the dividing line between Jensen and Stewart. The downtown area is reminiscent of a small village. Wide sidewalks and welcoming shops make walking around town an adventure. There are numerous restaurants and pubs. With a surf and dive shop right downtown, you get the idea the beaches can't be far. Mulligan's has all the classic shoreside dishes. The rooftop deck is open and on the day I visited it was quite a party. You can also get lighter fare and just sit by the water. As we turn the corner and head for the beach, the party continues. If it's fishing you enjoy, the Snook Nook has everything you need. There is a beautiful park before we cross the bridge to the beaches. Here you can set your lines from shore and relax in a shaded area. Or you can launch your boat and go on an adventure. Jump to the other side of the bridge and we come to Jensen's Sea Turtle Beach. The beach is guarded. There's a ton of parking and full facilities here including a snack bar. This is a popular surf spot and a great place to hang out if you like to people watch. It would also be a good place to go with a gang of friends for an all-day beach picnic. That water sure looks inviting, and there's lots of room. A little ways down the road is Bob Graham Beach. The parking area here is much smaller, and there is no lifeguard. But if a quiet stroll on the beach, or just a fairly secluded chunk to yourself is what you have in mind, this might better meet your needs. As you head down the shoreline, there are numerous other small beach access points like this one. Parking is limited and there are no facilities, but you can be on the beach with the rich and famous from adjacent condos and resorts. Now that you've seen the area, let's look at some parks. Pine Lake Village is a family-owned manufactured home community. It is mid-size for a resort community with 470 lots. The 2021 lot rents were 630 for interior lots, 730 for lakefront, and there are some double wide lots in the park which lease for 945. This includes basic cable TV, making it quite a bargain for the area. There are shuffleboard courts and a beautiful pool deck overlooking the fountain in the lake. The clubhouse is large with many amenities and room for gatherings. Another plus is the amount of clubhouse parking. 
That seems to be a problem in many parks. Let's take a ride into the park. The first thing you notice is the long winding entryway giving the feeling of open space. You get a better feel for the size of the clubhouse and the parking available from ground level. Hundreds of palm trees and lots of tropical landscaping truly give this a resort atmosphere. The pool sure looks inviting. There's lots of green space here. Everything looks just so relaxed. Homes here are a mix of single wide and double wide units, although newer double wides predominate. Landscaping and lawn care are immaculate. The roads are in great shape and the curves and cul-de-sacs add interest and give it the appearance of a conventional neighborhood. There's plenty of storage for boats, RVs, and trailers. I rarely recommend individual parks, but if you are interested in living in this area in a land lease community, I heartily recommend this one. Ocean Breeze Resort is actually not part of Jensen Beach per se. It was incorporated into its own town by the residents in 1960. It began as a trailer park established in 1938. In 2007, 142 residents banded together and bought the park. The co-op fell behind on its mortgage payments and declared bankruptcy. The community was bought up by Arizona-based Carefree Communities which was subsequently purchased by Sun Communities. Lot rents were increased and upscale houses were brought in. As you can see today, it's mostly a resort community with a huge RV presence. It appears only a few of the older resident homes remain. I also noticed that the railroad runs along the back side. It appears to be a bustling place and you can find more information on the Sun Communities website. Rio Village is still listed as active on the DBPR license search website, but as you can see, every home is gone. The neighborhood around it is full of manufactured homes, which adds to the mystery. I visited Riverside Village earlier this year and it looked very similar to Rio. A sign promised something coming soon. As you can see, major construction is now underway. I called the number on the sign and a gal told me they are building a new resort community featuring smaller homes than those found at Ocean Breeze. It's going to be called Ocean View. Home prices, lot rents, and further details were not available. If you are interested, you can call the number and leave your email address to be kept informed. Now we'll move on to the four resident-owned communities in Jensen Beach. Blue Heron Cottages and Mobile Home Park is listed at 30 units by DBPR. It is a co-op and some homes may be on rental lots. This is a small park with one road right down the middle and a nice looking pool out in front. The homes were a mix of single and double wide units. They all looked well maintained. Lawns were groomed and the landscaping accented the homes. There were no homes listed for sale at the time I visited. This is a perfect park for someone looking for a small community that is peaceful where everyone knows your name. Right down the road is Lake Manor Park. It too is a co-op, this one listed at 45 homes. Compass Realty listed one home for sale with an HOA fee of 200 a month which included lawn care, water, trash, and sewer. Check with the community for the latest rates. The park features a community dock, shuffleboard courts, and a clubhouse overlooking the fountains with ping pong and a pool table. Homes are a mix of double wide and single wide units with the single wides predominating. Lawns and landscaping were nicely groomed with lots of trees. Homes looked well maintained, with many still buttoned up, awaiting the return of snowbirds. The pond in the middle of the park was a nice feature. The roads are in really great shape, and the clubhouse looks inviting. I'm sure many a fine gathering occurs there. But if I lived here, 
you would mostly find me on the end of that dock with a rod in my hand. Tropical Acres is right next door to Pine Lake Village. It's a smaller community made up of mostly single wide homes. DBPR lists it at 120 residential units. Monthly HOA fees are just $149 and taxes are very affordable. In the front of the park are the clubhouse and shuffleboard courts. Toward the back of the park is a swimming pool and RV storage area. Let's take a ride through. Some homes have elaborate landscaping while others are just plain mobile homes. I'll bet there are some interesting folks living here. There were a couple of homes for sale and the prices were quite reasonable. This is especially true when you take into account the home price includes a share valued at around 21000 If an affordable co-op interests you, this one is surely worth a look. Palm Circle Park is our last community and it is an unusual one. This is a 55 plus condominium development where you actually own the lot your home is on. There is a nice pool and sunbathing deck. Great place to cool off after a game of shuffleboard. The homes here are mostly single wides. Some have rather elaborate carports and porches. The condition of the homes is remarkable. Some look like they just came from the factory. Landscaping is Florida gorgeous with lots of palm trees. The roads look to be in perfect condition and the lawns green and trimmed. Even the trim colors shout out, welcome back to Florida. I'm often asked where a couple on social security incomes can buy a Florida home they will be able to afford. I looked at recent sales here and a really nice one bedroom, one bath sold for 55,000. Keep in mind, because you own the land, you can qualify for a very low interest conventional mortgage with 20% down. The listed HOA fees were 210 a month, which included lawn care, cable TV, and irrigation. Annual property taxes were just under 500. And by the way, the median sale price of a conventional home in this neighborhood is around 420,000. If shoreside living interests you, I'm sure you'll agree Jensen Beach is worth a look. There are bargains here for every budget. Pine Lake Village offers upscale living in a manufactured home resort at prices far below an equivalent HOA development. If your wants and means are a bit less, the resident-owned communities offer homes with monthly expenses that meet almost any budget while still providing the benefits of community living. To see additional videos on these communities, just click on the link. You can get more information on these communities by joining our inner circle. It's free. Just click on the link in the description below. Please give us a thumbs up if you found this video helpful. It really helps me. Thanks for watching and see you next time.